Welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky Show, sponsored by Box Bar in Sheffield and Rolling Tap Mobile Bars. If you are new here and you've never listened to our podcast before, then welcome along. It's nice to have you. If you're a regular listener, of course, you know by now, we love you. We do indeed. Now, whilst you're here, click all the buttons. Give us a follow. Give us a subscribe. Give us a review and give us a... Um, like like all the, just all the things yeah whatever medium you're listening on just click all the buttons because basically um it helps us also it? as well if you can share the fact that you're listening recommend to a friend we'd love you to do that too uh please do right let's get started okay first things first um should we do messages let's yeah. do messages okay so yesterday we were talking about idris elba is that right? I knew you said elbow then. Yeah, <laughs> just, just elbow. elbow. Yeah, the fact that he is now out of the running to play James Bond. He was the favourite, but he's walked away. But I think this is a um, a diversion. But PR you know, stunt this, this type is thing. The thing. We mm. were talking about what you would call this, and we couldn't think of the name. And Laura Pashley messaged Jester when she was listening, saying, just listening to the podcast on my walk, do you mean red herring? That That's is what, what we meant. meant. Thank you, Laura. I love the fact Laura's listening on a walk. She said she was thinking any minute they're going to get it. Any minute they're going to say red herring and we never did. So yeah. she messaged her. <laughs> hi, Laura. Thanks for, thanks for getting in touch. Also got to say hi to Sybil. I think, I think I'm saying oh, your name right. great name. That is a nice name. Look, she's very beautiful. Let's so have, let me have a look at Sybil. Have a little look at her. Oh, she is very beautiful. Isn't she? So, yeah, we've got a, got a fit listener there. Um, she's put, you both make me laugh so much. I always listen whilst I'm doing my cleaning. Love listening to you girls. So thanks, Sybil. I love the, the thought. You know how you like the thought of people on a run or a walk whilst yeah. listening? I like the thought of her on the floor scrubbing it whilst listening to us or like mopping the floor or, I don't know, doing the ironing. If you are listening, let us know how you're listening. It's really interesting to know. It is. Also, tag us on Unless Insta. Unless you're doing something rude. We don't want to know that. Well, no one's right. going to... No, we no, don't, Becky. No one is going to listen to us whilst having uh, sex, I Laura. I'd be surprised. Well, they might I... not be having sex. might be... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Do you think they would? I yeah. wish everyone could see the action <laughs> that Laura just did there. Right, listen, you've um, got a coffee for us both this morning. Thank you very much, by the way. I was tired this morning. But I'm going to call out Costa on this. They're Christmas cups. Yeah. Right, one of the things I look forward to at Christmas is when they release Christmas cups in like Starbucks, Costa, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's so exciting. We sat here with... Is, like, just save them until Christmas. Why don't they just put them away and save them until Christmas. I'm all for, like, making sure there's no waste and all that. But yeah. they could just use them this Christmas. I know, it's a bit tight, isn't it? So on um, the Christmas coffee cup, uh, it's got a snowman and two little mm. rabbits putting a hat on him. And, yeah, I mean, it's bloody August. Why, why have we got Christmas cups? Yeah, come on, Costa. I, I do like a Christmas cup, though, don't you? Oh, God, bloody yeah. Bloody hell, yeah. Uh, we also like a Christmas coffee. Do you? Just, just putting it Do out like there. Do you like a um um a, like a pumpkin coffee? Um, no, no I, I like don't. the um the gingerbread lattes. Oh. That is the one for me. And pile that cream on for me, oh. and plonk that little gingerbread oh, man on the top. So... Yep, Six, all over it. Sixteen weeks until Christmas. Just saying. There you go. Uh, right, listen, I went and got my eyebrows done yesterday, and um, let's I have, have a look at them. Yeah, I look decent. I have. Um, well, I've talked about this before. I'm very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's a hairy lady. Oh God Almighty! Always have been, always will be. Just hairy. My eyebrows are so coarse, and they grow at such a Do they? actually quite impressive rate. If I'm I'm honest. Never I've never felt your eyebrows oh, before. Oh my God! Anyway, my lovely eyebrow lady Ruth at Benefit in Boots in Chesterfield. I love her. She, mm. We had such a laugh. Um, I walked in yesterday. And she went all right. And I was like, yeah. And she went feral. What? And I was like, sorry, and she went, are they feral? I went, oh. Does she listen to the podcast? No, she doesn't listen yet. What? So she literally just went, it got feral. I was like, oh God, she knows me well, didn't she? How weird is that though, that she said feral and she yeah. hasn't listened to the podcast? I went, they, they are, well, now she's going to listen because I told her all about it. I was like, come on. She went, I've seen it on your Instagram, but I haven't had time to listen. I was like, there's I'm, always time to listen. Haven't had time. Yeah, she's there's been There's always laugh. time to listen. What did she mean was feral though, that you looked feral or your eyebrows were general, feral? Probably, yeah. Your general me, appearance. Everything. What were you feral, wearing when cap, you went in? A cap. Shirt, oh, yeah. cycling shorts. I know that look. Yeah, a little bit feral. I like it though. Um, so yeah, the appointment is like twenty five minutes. Mm. I was there for fifty. 
You're joking 50. me. I mean, we were chatting away. Then all the other ladies come over talking about shoplifters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, ladies, do you have a lot of shoplifters? They were like, yeah, loads of them. Um, and then the security guy came over. <clears throat> Lovely guy. I believe his name was Dave. You wouldn't be scared of him, though. Yeah. Oh, too nice. Well, that's yeah. why they've got all those thieves in there, isn't it? They need someone a bit he scarier and bigger. Like, he doesn't look like he could move very fast. Oh, is he a bit old? Oh, lovely Dave. Oh, was it? Laura, yeah. Laura is doing more actions at me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a bit oh, like... bless him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway. What are you, you going to do when we eventually start filming this podcast? You can't know. do all these things that you know. do. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, our lovely sponsors, Rolling Tap Mobile Bars. We love those guys, don't we? We do love them. Now, they will come along to any event that you're having and set up a mobile bar. They do cocktails, they do beers, they do ales, they do rosé wine. It's pale as well because we've checked. <laughs> um, and they do cocktail masterclasses. Yeah, they're going to rock up at your event with everything. You don't, you won't need to do anything. They rock up, they, they make amazing drinks. They're going to level up your event they really will you don't want an event just where like you're going what do you want to drink oh, yeah. can i get you a drink anybody want to drink let them do it let them sort the drinks all right <laughs> uh, you can find them on instagram it's rolling tap mobile bars <laughs> right you're off on uh, let us know what, what you're up to today you i'm doing something that i've never done before today go on i'm a little bit nervous Mm -hmm. Don't know if I'm going to be able to to do it all day, um, but I'm but I'm going. Right, I'm going on an ale trail. <laughs> Rest <laughs> an ale trail. Now listen, I'll be honest because obviously I had the festival at the weekend, and you know when you sort of get back into your week, letting your routines all out of sync a little bit, and obviously you've been drinking. It sort of takes you a few days, doesn't it, to get over? I'm not over that yet, and I've got to go all day drinking with a load of men today so is this where you get on a train you get off the train have a drink get on the train where are you going yes. where does the train is it from so door? we're going from sheffield i think it goes to leeds huddersfield oh what Berkeley. yeah yeah oh, right. it's like a little poodle along a little train and you get off no it get is to leeds and it's all day it's like from 11 in the morning till six at night i know so you get on the train but every sort of stop you get off at a pub and drink and then get back on what am i gonna do I, I know <laughs> your face is literally no no you wouldn't do it would no. you well it's for um one of my best mates dave talk about him oh, dave and cam happy birthday dave. yeah it's his birthday today so obviously you know i really want to go to spend his birthday with him but oh, i God, am there's no escape you I can't know. come home early that's what i'd be like well no, no i can i think oh yeah so i did speak to him yesterday and i'm like listen i'm a little bit nervous about this ale and it's all it's all lads drinking pints and ale and then me. You'll be fine. And probably you'll be like the last one standing. Do, do you know what? This always happens. Yeah. I always get scared and worried. Then I go all in yeah. and I'm like, boys, I ain't going home yet. <laughs> Let's go up to York. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the train to Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm going to do, I think, is um, <laughs> send you some pictures throughout the day. Okay. So I'm going to send you sort of like me in pubs, yeah. like me with Dave and stuff yeah. and kind of give oh, you an Oh, you know what you should do? You should do that thing where you're like, hi, I'm Becky and this is my first drink and then you like and then like five drinks later you go hi I'm Becky and this is my fifth drink oh, and then you do I? it at the end of the night yeah loads of people okay. do that yeah that'd be good or what's the um who's the train watcher train spotter boy who's on TikTok oh god I can't remember you know the one with the thing on his head and he loves watching trains oh, I love that yeah maybe I should maybe walk around with a GoPro on my head yeah. and I could film some trains why and not film some beer why not but have a good time but don't you know don't get too Jesus don't. okay yeah, I'll you try be careful, not to. you pace yourself. I will, love. So time to talk about our lovely sponsors, Box Bar. Now, I'm just on their website at the moment. I'm having a look at the team that work there. Oh, how lovely are their team, by the way. When we went in, they were so welcoming. Yeah, I'm trying to think who took our class. Was it Holly? I think it might have been Holly. I'm Let's not have a sure. Look. Is that Holly there? Is that, did uh, she take our class? Yeah, it might have been Holly, actually. So, who was the lovely girl on reception? Oh, now you're asking me. We're she was so nice. bad with names. But they all look... Oh, that's my husband messaging me. Um, <laughs> so there's Faye, Holly, Leon, uh, Cayman, Lily, Naomi, Annalisa, Priscilla... Priscilla, that's a nice like that name. name. Mm. And Miranda as well. So I, I know Miranda. Yeah. 
Yeah. How exciting. So, um, yeah, well, it says at Ultimate Box Bar, girl crush with legs for days. That's how they... Uh... <laughs> to be fair, she's a fitty, isn't oh, she? Let's be she's honest. She's beautiful, actually. Yeah, if you, if you want to have a, li- a little look at Miranda, get on their website <laughs> and have a look, or any of the others. They're all beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can meet the team on their website, boxbar.co.uk. <laughs> right, what's going on in the world? Oh! Bloody hell. Some really, really shitty news yesterday. Yeah, well, you texted me, didn't you? I hadn't heard of this. Um, Darius Dinesh, he was on He was on Pop Idol, wasn't he? He came third after Gareth Gates. Yeah, he was so good. But wasn't he on... Um... Do you remember um, Pop Star to Opera Star? And he did that. He did the most amazing performance and Meatloaf went nuts. He was like, never forget this moment. Oh, no, I don't remember that. Oh, he was... So, I'll play it. It'll make you cry. It was incredible what was the original one that he was on this so pop stars the rivals yeah was it that where he did britney spears wasn't that pop idol no pop idol was where he did well wasn't it and came third oh. before that he'd au- it was an audition oh. it was the one with kim marsh pop, on pop, pop stars pop stars so he auditioned for that and he did his famous like yes, oh baby baby it. yeah Oh, what a shame. He's it's only 41, 41 as well. Yeah, yeah, massive shame. Obviously, we don't know the circumstances or anything yet, do we? But we were both gutted yesterday when we heard this. Yeah, I literally went, oh, no, like that when I read the tweet. I was like, oh, no. And it's really weird because obviously, uh, you know, I've forgotten. Me. I don't think of Darius every day. No. But it's just... When you find out, you're like, like, what? Well, I think it's one of those things, is it? Like, we grew up with him, didn't we? Because he was on the shows that we watched when we grew up. Um, Speaking of um, lovely Darius, would you like to know Mm. where the other people from Pop Idol are now? Okay, go on You're going to remember some of these names. Do you remember Michelle McManus? I do, yeah. She won the... um, Series two, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, where's she? What's she uh, up to? Let's have a look. So she, oh, she's just making public appearances, apparently. Still. Good, yeah. That's her on a train there. Lovely, with pink hair. Um, do you remember Rick Waller? Yes. What's he doing now then? Uh, doesn't. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, gosh, look, look at his hair slim, now. Slim down. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's have a look. look at his hair. He's got sort of like dreadlocks or something. Okay. He's believed to be doing. Oh, he's become an exam. In a vigilator. What's that then? Well, that's where you just sit and make sure people don't talk in exams. Imagine that, doing an exam and Rick Waller comes out and goes, hey, put your phone away. Hey. Are you, are you Rick Waller? Yeah, from, from Pop Idol. Obviously, Gareth Gates and Will Young we kind of know about. Um, do you remember Zoe Burkett? Yes. That one. Yes. What's she up to? Uh, so I don't she <laughs> this is very random. <laughs> Has the most impressive... Musical oh. World. oh, she's currently performing in a stage version of Moulin Rouge. Oh, good for... Oh, sh- oh. Yeah, she looks nice, doesn't she? She looks absolutely beautiful. So there's well, your pop well, idol update. thank you for that, Becky. Yep, that's okay. No problem. Um, more next week? Yes. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. I've got an exciting day today. I you have got, got, got a very exciting, exciting day. day. I'm off to see Coldplay at Wembley. I shit you not. I saw them... You- at- Seven you sh- years ago. You shouldn't, you well, shouldn't actually, be, I do shit you. You shouldn't be saying oh, that expression. God. It would all become clear later on. Um, saw them seven years ago. It was probably the best two hours of my entire life. Well, I've never seen Coldplay Live. And I'll be honest, I was never really bothered about it. But you have been banging on about Coldplay Live for the last two years and going, you have to come and see them. They're amazing. And actually, you've, yeah, you've kind of got me a bit like, all right, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Coldplay. Yeah, so we're going to leave this afternoon. I, can't, I literally can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. I can't wait. Grace is coming. Rose is coming. It's her first ever concert. I mean, you know, that, how lucky is she? Her first ever concert is going to be Coldplay. Where are you seeing them? Wembley Stadium. Wembley. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So I, I literally can't wait. But when you come out of Wembley Stadium, the queue along Wembley Way to get to the tube station, you're in it for about two hours. Oh, see, I couldn't be doing with that. Now, last time I went, oh, God. <laughs> don't. Hold on, listen. If you don't like poo talk, you probably want to turn off. Yeah, but if you do like poo talk, <laughs> then please keep listening. So last time I went to a concert, was in London, went to the O2 Arena. Arena? Oh, God. Arena. Look, shut up. Stop laughing. Sorry, I know what's coming. It's just making me laugh. Um, the O2 Arena to see Queen with my husband and my daughter, Grace. Right? Everything went really well. Okay. Did it. <laughs> Did it though. So concert was great. Came out of the concert and you had to queue a little bit for the for the tube, but nothing too bad. Got on the tube and that's a very long tube ride because we always park at Cannons Park, right? So O2 to Cannons Park, it's a good 40 minutes on the tube. 
So halfway through the tube journey, I need a poo, right? I get that feeling where I'm like, oh, I need a poo. But it wasn't the normal feeling. It was more of a, oh, God, I need a poo. And, if and I it's move, coming now. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm going to essentially shit myself, okay? <laughs> so I thought, well, I just won't move. I'm just going to stay in the same position. It'll be fine until we get to Cannons Park, which has a toilet, okay? Mm. The stop before Cannons Park... The conductor starts saying, all change, all change. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't move. Um, I had to get off the train, sit on the platform, wait for the next train. Oh, no. I, I literally got off the train. I looked at James. I went, I'm going to shit myself. And he went, what? <laughs> and I went, James, I'm going to shit myself. So I sat on a bench. Oh, Started kind of like rocking side to side, right? Just like, just don't think about it. Because when you need a poo, that's all you can think about, isn't of it? Of course. Anyway, uh, the next train comes, thankfully, very quickly. Get on the train. I'm all right. I'm sat there. I'm like, I just need to get to the toilet. Got off at Cannes Park. Got to the toilet. It was locked. Oh, God. Oh, God. It was locked. Oh, no. And it's at that moment I thought, I'm in trouble here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it was late at night. So I thought, well, what am I going to do here? Just have to get to the car and drive to like a McDonald's or something. Yeah, use the loo. So uh, this is the middle of the night, really late at night. Uh, There's just random people walking in front of us, all had walking difficulties. Oh, no. Of all the times, of all the times. So I was like, oh, my God, one's limping, one's on crutches. I was like, Jesus. Were you doing that thing where you can like, hover from side to side trying to get in front of them? So listen... <laughs> So we get to the car <laughs> and I just said to James, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shit myself here. Yeah, and this he is was like, happen. what? And I went, can you just drive down to the, at the end of the car park that's in the dark? And he's like, what? And I went, just do it now. Do it, do it, do it. So, <laughs> so I got in the car, like the fucking Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> Didn't even close the car door. I was hanging out of it. He <laughs> hot foots it down. I get out the car and I, all I can remember is sinking to the floor, oh going, and he went, not here, not now, no, Laura, now, move away from the car. I went, I can't, I can't, put the radio on, James, put the radio on. <laughs> Sunk to the floor. And it... I shit myself. Oh, God. It, it came out. He's like, what's this, CCTV? And I'm yeah. like, it's too late. <laughs> but at that point... You couldn't stop it even if you wanted to. It was it was what was your daughter doing in the back just, of the car? I don't know. I think they had headphones. I think they put the headphones on. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. I just remember Laura messaging me. It was either that night or the next morning after Queen. You went, I shit myself at Queen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Oh, I mean, I got in the car and we're, I was mortified, obviously. I can't believe I'm actually telling this story. But this listen, is no, this is, this is good because... Oh, there will it? be other people that have shit who've shit themselves. Somewhere. Yeah. Well, I got to, um, we had to then pull in at the next services on the M1, <laughs> ran to the toilet there. Um, the noise that came out of me was actually quite horrific. Oh. So I had oh. to start playing. I just thought I need to play music. Yeah. If anyone walks into here, it's going to be like. They can't hear that. Yeah. So I just started playing Queen really loud from the toilet. Cubicle. On your phone. <laughs> yeah. So after about 40 minutes. Yeah, it took, us, it took us about five hours to get home. Got home about half three, four o'clock in the morning. Oh, God. So let's hope that that doesn't happen at Coldplay. Because come out on Wembley Way if I shit myself. Don't. It can't happen at two concerts, mate. It we can't. are going to leave early. Mm. I can't put Rosie through waiting two hours and no. watching her mum shit herself. No. <laughs> can't do that to no. her. Oh, my God. All right, well, please don't shit yourself tonight. I'll Have try. a lovely, lovely time. Thanks. Oh, Craig David popped up at Coldplay a couple of days ago. I was oh. like, yeah, excellent. Do you, do you think know, he will tonight? Well, do you know who popped up last night? Who? Natalie and Brulia. Oh no, you want Craig David. Natalie you don't want and Natalie and Brulia. But hopefully, if she was there last night, hopefully they alternate it or someone different. So hopefully, you've missed Beyonce her. Beyonce is what I'm fucking hoping for. I mean, Imagine. I don't know if Beyonce is going to come she on. She sang a song with them, though. She you, did. This is true. Listen, you never. I could you imagine what I'd do? Well, you would shit yourself, wouldn't you? If Beyonce <laughs> came myself. on, you'd be so excited. You'd shit yourself. <laughs> right. You have a good ale trail. Thanks. I'm off to London. We'll be back. We'll tomorrow. reconvene tomorrow. I can't believe I just told that story. <laughs> Thanks for listening today and a quick reminder to give us a like, a subscribe, a cheeky little review and a follow. Thank you.